Hi folks, uh, for our next one we're going to do another pen and wash painting and it's it's of this uh, this image of this uh, Buddhist temple that I've, I've found. Um, I've drawn it out in pencil first because it's quite a complex drawing so I think you, you'd have to be really on the ball if you were to start off just as, with pen but it, yeah it would be possible but this would help if you just map it out with pencil first. And I'm going to start drawing it with a waterproof uh, pen first and and sort of this little thumbnail that I've done just trying to keep that really fluid sketchy line um, keeping the proportions of the building and the, the the main details but then sort of forgetting the the the, the intricate details we, we don't really need all that as long as it the overall impression it, in it gives you the of, of the, the temple um, so I'll start off, I'll start at the top, um, just really, just sort of stealing yourself while you do it to not copy every single pencil mark that you've done. Sometimes just leaving the pen on the paper and letting the the ink sort of just just blur a little bit into the paper and make a, a deeper mark. There we go. So just being careful now just to remember what I said about just the overall impression and not too much detail there. Can make that a bit stronger I think because it's quite shaded under there. Just sort of as well in your mind's eye just bearing in mind that a pen, the pen will do a lot of the modelling and the shaping. So just leaving enough within the picture that the pen can can do that its job as well. bit of detail there. I'll just explain about the perspective of it as well in a minute because if you imagine where you're looking from your eye level is probably about there so we're quite high up and these different layers of, of the tower the ones that are above tend to angle downwards so on this side it would slightly angle downwards that way and those ones slightly angle that way you imagine there's vanishing points further away and then when it gets below the eye level it's sort of angling up and as the lower it goes the steeper you imagine so that's this this little balustrade there that's the angle that that's on the roof slightly shallower than there and then we're going like sort of flat there 
So that's that's for the drawing stage really, but I just thought I'd explain that bit. Don't want to get too technical because it can be quite complicated, but um, it's, it's a simple thing but overall. Yeah. So I'll just pause the video there because it is quite of more of the same and then I'll resume as I get closer to the uh, the finishing parts. Right, so I've done quite a bit more but all the same sort of method and, and technique that I was doing earlier. Um, so just to sort of describe, we've got a little sort of platform here that's uh, a big flat of stuff steps going down there so again keeping it really sketchy just describing the stirs there don't need too much of those again so they're sort of those like a stir, that's sort of fanning like that. And then we're going to have a lot of uh, sort of blossom trees, little shaped bushes. So a mixture of marks really for this. I think really let the paint do the work there. So just sort of guidelines for yourself to show the different bushes, but not too much. And let do, we'll let the paint do the work there. A uh, big blossom thing there. So again. Let the paint do most of the work there. I think that'll do it that for the drawing that's enough that and we'll let the so a really misty background there strong color for that and then sort of greens and lilac color um i think it should look okay that so we can do that and then we'll get splash some color on it <laughs> 